Hello everyone, this is Megan from Kenpa, and welcome to our tutorial on the muscles of the tongue. In today's tutorial, we'll have a look at the anatomy of these muscles, including their actions, their vascular supply, and their innervation. So here we can see an anterior coronal view of the tongue. To give some context, we can see the hard palate here, and the hyoid bone here. Now the tongue consists of two groups of muscles. We have the intrinsic muscles and the extrinsic muscles. The intrinsic muscles consist of the superior longitudinal muscle, the vertical muscle, the transverse muscle, and the inferior longitudinal muscle. We then have the extrinsic muscles, which consist of genial glossus, hyoglossus, styloglossus, and platoglossus. After we've discussed these muscles, we will be looking into some clinical notes relating to them. But before we do that, let me give you a bit of an introduction to the tongue and its muscles. The tongue is a muscular organ that helps form the floor of the oral cavity. It has three main functions, deglutition or swallowing, gustation or taste, and phonation or speech. It consists of a root, which is the posterior third of the tongue, and a body, which is the anterior two-thirds. The dorsum of the tongue is divided into two halves by the median sulcus, which is located on the body of the tongue here. So in the next image, we can see the coronal view of the tongue and its muscles. Highlighted here is the lingual mucosa, which is usually pink and moist. This is the part of the tongue that covers the dorsum of the tongue and contains papillae and nerve endings for the sense of taste. For more on the lingual papillae and how they perceive taste, please take a look on our website for a video on the lingual papillae. So in the next image, we can see all of the tongue highlighted in green. It is separated into left and right halves by the vertical lingual septum, which underlies the median sulcus and continues down to attach to the hyoid bone. The tongue consists of eight pairs of muscles, which are located bilaterally on either side of the lingual septum. Four of these muscles are intrinsic muscles, which are located within the tongue itself and are highlighted here in this image. The other four muscles are located outside the tongue and are referred to as extrinsic muscles. The intrinsic muscles act to change the shape of the tongue, whereas the extrinsic muscles are involved in the movement of the tongue. So let's start off by looking at the extrinsic muscles of the tongue. The first extrinsic muscle we'll look at is the genial glossus muscle. This muscle originates from the mental spines of the mandible and inserts at the bottom of the tongue and the hyoid bone. The main actions of the genial glossus is to protrude or stick out the tongue. It also acts to depress the tongue. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.